So in the previous video, we dealt with the first pillar of financial literacy, understanding your money and income. Today, I want to take you to the second pillar, that is spending, creating a personal budget. Budgeting is telling your money where to go rather than wondering where it has gone. In other words, ziva kurugenda mariako. Keeping track of expenses, making a budget and sticking to it are important skills you need to develop in order to be financially responsible and independent. The question then is, how do you develop a budget? This can be answered by the following four guidelines. These are merely rules of thumb, which are meant to give you insights. The first one is the definition of the budget itself. You need to develop a plan for coordinating income and expenses. The emphasis, therefore, is on a plan. Second, you need to know that there is no average budget to follow. Thirdly, a budget has to be unique to your financial situation. Fourthly, your budget depends on a set of savings, spending priorities. There are other models that have been developed and recommended over time. One of them is the 50-30-20 rule. The 50-30-20 rule is a budgeting plan that recommends allocating 50% of your net income, your income after tax, on basic needs, leaving 30% spent on non-essentials and 20% for savings. This budget may not work perfectly for everyone, but it's a great rule of thumb for anyone who is new to budgeting. The rule involves sorting all of your expenses into just three categories. But what is contained in these three categories? First, the 50, essentials or needs. And under the 50, 30, 20 rule, 50% of your income after tax goes towards essential living expenses such as rent, transportation, groceries, medical aid, utilities, and a minimum payment on debts. Some essentials are fixed expenses while others change. One way to determine whether an expense is essential is to ask yourself, what would happen if you don't pay for this? Or can I live without this? Second, the third non-essentials or wants. The 50-30-20 rule allocates 30% of your net income for non-essential products and services. This broad category includes entertainment, traveling, eating out, shopping, gifts, fitness classes, and other things you can live without. Anything that doesn't fall under the essentials category goes here. The expenses in this category might be important to you, but they are choices or wants, rather than basic living requirements. Thirdly, the 20. Savings. Last but not least, make sure you're putting 20% of your income into savings accounts and paying off debts. If you're not sure where to put this money, experts recommend saving 10% of your net income for retirement. Use the remaining 10% of extra payments on debts and saving goals such as your emergency fund. Let us do a small and simple budgeting exercise. Enter your net income or take home monthly income. And enter your fixed expenses such as car payments and rent. Enter your flexible payments using figures you gathered from typical months, such as your phone bill or electricity bill. Then enter your discretionary expenses, such as clothing and entertainment. Enter the amount you put into savings. Now, total all of your expenses and your savings and subtract this total from your net income. If you have money left over, you may want to use it to increase your savings. Do you have a goal that you're saving for? Open an account with our sponsors at B and start saving and if you receive your salary or regular inflows into the account you can apply for a loan to help you achieve your goals what's more get interest on your saving contact zb today on the details provided on the screen